Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide from an endometriotic cyst of the ovary. An endometriotic cyst is a cystic area which is a focus of endometriosis. And this means that the endometrial glands and stroma are found within the ovary. So very often what happens is that there is cystic degeneration there is usually extensive bleeding and many cycles of bleeding. And so this often gives rise to a denuded cyst, most of the time without residual cyst lining. And we can see in place of that many, many sheets of hemosiderin laden macrophages from the repeated cycles of bleeding. So let me just trace the outline of the cyst wall. We have one piece of cyst wall here. This is a strip of the cyst wall. And this entire strip is denuded. We have another large strip here. And again, this entire strip is pretty much denuded. Let's take a closer look. And this is the inner lining of the cyst. Usually grossly, this is known as a chocolate cyst because the altered blood appears quite similar to melted chocolate because of its brownish color. As we zoom in, we can see that indeed there is no residual surface epithelium. However, we can see sheets of these macrophages which contain brown hemosiderin pigment. And this is due to ingestion of the breakdown products of blood. So these are hemosiderin laden macrophages or hemosiderophages. And surrounding these hemosiderophages, there are still some small residual endometrial stromal cells. Let's look for an area with some residual epithelium. And there is a focus here. If you can see this very thin blue strip, this is some residual endometrial epithelium that is lining the cyst wall. And as we go on higher magnification, we can see that these are columnar cells. And below this is endometrial stroma. So in endometriosis, we get both endometrial epithelium and the underlying stroma that is found in the ovary. So as mentioned, often these foci undergo cystic change, as we can see here. And there is marked denudation of the cyst lining. And in its place, we see numerous hemosiderophages. If we look at the second piece of the cyst wall, again, we can see a similar picture of numerous hemosiderophages and some stromal cells in between. So in summary, this is an endometriotic cyst of the ovary. We have a small residual focus of intact endometrial columnar cell lining with endometrial stroma. But in most areas, there is denudation of the cyst wall and replacement by sheets of hemosiderophages. And you can interact with specimens of endometriotic cysts in our free online pathology web resource, PathWeb. Here is the page on an endometriotic cyst. There are foci of endometriosis in both ovaries, and you can actually also fully interact with this specimen. As you scroll down, there's lots more information present, including labeled microscopy pictures, as well as talking pots and talking slides. The registration link is included in the description of this video. Thank you.